Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to uninstall a font on your Windows computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the star menu. Type in control panel. Best man should come back with control panel listed right above app. So go ahead and left click on that. You want to set your view by up here to so just click inside that drop down and you want to select category view if it's not the default view here and select appearance and personalization from this listing. Now that you have done that you want to locate the fonts button so select the fonts hyperlink or link whatever you want to call it here. Give it a moment, it's going to be loading all of your system fonts, so it just might take a couple seconds to load. So now deleting a font is as simple as just right clicking on it and then selecting delete. And it's going to ask you to sure you want to permanently delete these fonts and just select yes. And then once you're done with that, it's going to delete them. Unless it is a protected system font, there might be certain fonts in here that are protected. I should put that out there. But if you just recently installed a font, you would, should be able to delete it. So it shouldn't be too hard here. Some of these, like I said, are system fonts here. So you might not be able to delete them. But let's just say you just installed a font that you don't like. This would allow you the ability to delete them. And you can see there are certain fonts that are not system protected that even do come default with Windows that are not protected in that same way that you saw with the first font we attempted to delete. So just want to put that out there that there are some limitations with this, but generally speaking, if you installed some third party font, you should be able to remove it without any significant issues. So pretty straightforward process here guys. I do hope that I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.